Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. All right, so we deal them three. All right, that's pretty sweet. The Clackbridge Veto Burn. Looking to put your party together? Well, don't you worry about it because Card Kingdom has all of your Zendikar Rising singles up for order right now at cardkingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we're trying, that's right, Mono Black Devotion. Can you believe that? That's right, we're trying Mono Black Devotion in 2020 because with the new BNR announcements, we can actually brew and play a bunch of different decks. And you know, I feel like Devotion, that was a pretty cool mechanic back in original standard. And you know, with Theros, you know, beyond death, we didn't really see much of it. So I wanted to see if we can make something happen again with Devotion. So the core of this deck doesn't use too many new cards outside of Blood Chief's Thirst and like maybe uh, like Agadim's Awakening and Hagra Mauling. Actually, that's like 12 cards. It's a decent amount of cards. But the way we're trying to win here is in best of one, we're trying to get away with some janky jank jank. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with first off, Temerit Chosen from Death. Uh, as you know, that card can exile two cards uh, for two mana, and you gain one life for each creature exiled that way. But we can exile our own graveyard to then shut off rogue decks. And of course, we have uh, that adds to the devotion. You know, we plan on killing with Grey Merchant of Asphodel. But something else that I added would be Karavik the Spiteful, because the amount of Golgari Adventures decks and, you know, like the, the Innkeepers and all that stuff, I want to get rid of them permanently, along with the little 1-1 uh, Death Touch Zombie. Uh, and, you know, I've been seeing, like, in the best of one queues, like, a mono-white kind of, like, life gain deck. And, you know, it, it is a little difficult to deal with all the indestructible stuff. But more importantly, Karavik curves right, it's, like, right before Clack Bridge Troll, which is a 5-mana 8-8 Trample Haste from Eldraine. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent gets 3 zero, one goats. They can sack a goat to tap your troll and then gain 3 life, you gain 3 life, and you draw the card. But Karavik kind of just makes sure they get no troll, you just get a 5-mana 8-8 eight, eight with Trample Haste. In a world where there's a lot of sorcery speed removal, I feel like an 8-8 eight, eight just like coming in and clocking the opponent's pretty sweet. And of course, Massacre Worm, a card that didn't see any play. Uh, big in EDH, but not here in Standard, so we're going to see if that can sweep up the little goat tokens and whatever little creatures that the opponents have got. Combined with Karavik, that's minus 3, minus 3, so could be pretty fun. Let's see how we do. Oh, no lands. Alright, we'll go ahead and ship that. All right, this is a little bit better. We have Hand Disruption, we have Removal. Okay, not bad. Devoted to Erebos, let's go. Although, Ere it's funny that we say that, but we don't have Erebos in the deck. Maybe, maybe we could. I wonder, okay, if, if like, Cat were unbanned, I think I would play Erebos. That'd be pretty sweet, right? Because essentially, we would only lose one life. Ah, oh, I think Cat should just be unbanned. Oh, well, let's, I mean, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Till then, let's see what we bought him here. I, I, Kind of want to put Lily on the bottom because we got to rip two lands. Yeah, okay, we're, we're gonna we're on the play. We got to rip two lands to actually get to Lily. Uh, we we can fire off the discard spell or whatever. Uh huh. All right, so it's a swamp. Let's take a look at their hand. It's probably rogues then. Oh, well, 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 opponent. I see you. Uh, I think we take the agonizing remorse actually. The card, it seems to be what they're trying to lead into with this mana base. If they play the goose, we can kill it. All right, they can flash in Liliana's standard bearer if they want. Also okay with me. It looks like it's Jun food, right? So, uh-huh. Um, I think I'm going to fire off this, uh, the ability to just go ahead and use uh, Murderous Rider right now. Before they can start sacrificing stuff to village rights. And that would then fizzle my, uh, my Murderous Rider. I want that land. Now I could have taken I could have taken the uh, the Woe Strider, but my issue with the Agonizing Remorse from the opponent side of the board is that then we would be just completely out of threats. All right, so now they're probably going to sacrifice to Village Rights. Ah, that's not so bad. All right, what else will the opponent do now? Now I could potentially just kill this right here right now. I think I will, right? Because that means they can't sacrifice. They don't get to draw more cards. They're stuck on mana. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, go to combat. I'm not gonna play the land. I want to hold that in case they draw another agonizing remorse. Um, what do I want to do? Sure, we'll just attack with both. Yup, seems good. Who will they block? Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and have that happen. Go ahead and play. Ayara, pass back to the opponent. 
Uh, I need one more card in the yard, right? Woe Strider, that's not great for us, but okay. Um, come on deck, give me something that isn't a land. Something that isn't a land here. It's what the home team's looking for. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, huh. Yeah, you know what? I am just gonna play this. Make them sacrifice right now. Uh, this way they have to use the Woe Strider's ability, which I'm okay with. We do deal less damage, but you know what? This gets that off the board so they can't just sacrifice it to village rights. They top, so it's a land. All right. Um, let me think. What else is ne What else can we do here? All right, I think we just passed, right? This is probably a green source or something. Some kind of land. That's what they're looking for. All right. Sure. I might just sacrifice the murderous rider here to draw a card. They're down to three cards, but they can now sacrifice Goose or whatever they block one of my threats with. Um, what can I do? What can I do? If I swing out with both Murderous Rider and Kervik the Spiteful, I think that'd be pretty good, right? I mean, get rid of everything. Something goes into the yard. I get to get my own Woe Strider back. I kind of like that, actually. Like, they'll probably block Sack, block Sack. Um, if I can find a Gary, we close out the game, though, right? I mean, well, we'd be in a very healthy spot. Uh, they are tanking on, what, they want to sacrifice something? I mean, Kervik does shut off a lot of, a lot of, like, little dinky creatures, but I see that they have Liliana Standard Bearer, right? So, like, it shuts that off, or at least it kills the 3-1 immediately. Uh, what happens when I sack here? Yeah, draw a card. Seems good. Uh, okay. Food token, maybe the opponent is currently lagging or something like that. No, wait, they, they are targeting their stuff, so... They are able to look at their Gilded Goose. That's good, you got it. Yeah, we just attack with both. Swing with everything. Jund food, huh? Okay. Interesting, okay. Uh-huh, so they block with Kervik. Seems good. Um. Yeah, seems good. We'll go for that. Uh, can we draw something to get out of this? Let's see, let's see. I mean, if I don't have to worry about you know what? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and... S no, wait, this doesn't do... This doesn't get a card in the yard. But I did draw Castle, so that I guess that helps. I do... Th I, I realize I probably do want to get that in the graveyard. Alright, so now they can play their... Their Woe Strider, which then becomes a... 4-3, which I like. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, they can do that. I forgot. They can steal my stuff now. I forgot that Claim the Firstborn's a thing. Rankle on top of that. Holy smokes, that's good. On the brighter side, I mean, maybe now I just go ahead and, uh... Sure. You got it. What can I bring back here? So, I have three, five. For three mana, I can bring back... Okay. That's really good. I do need to draw a card, so I, I actually need to see if I can find some... Oh! Uh, we'll play Lily... And Lily's gonna try to kill Rankle. Queen of the dead. I know they don't have village rights, but they might have Stomp or something. Okay. Seems good. Uh, I need one more land. One more land, then I can go ahead and just... They have a land here? They don't have a land. Um, I can... If I do it for three... I need to do it for more than that. Uh... Maybe I just play... I'll play Ayara. I'll play Ayara. Uh, then I guess we go ahead and pass. I think I play Ayara here. This seems more important. This way I can go ahead and just immediately uh, drain them for a bit more. Because they're going to be able to gain a lot of life here. And I don't like that. If they want to play their Woe Strider, they have to use that food token. Which is good news for us. If I'm able to get the mana, that's perfect. I can just bring back both Kervik and the Woe Strider. Oh, it's Korvald. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. Oh, uh, we need a Gary and then some. Oh, boy. That's a big dragon. Okay. <sighs> I'll probably just have to bring back... Um, I don't know if I want to give him fodder to sack with, right? Okay, I guess we play Lily. Or, I mean, we eat, play Woe Strider here. Uh, how do I get out of this? Um, Alright, so they attack. They have the ability to go ahead and, like, do some extra wild shenanigans. 
They cycle. Sure, that seems good. They draw another card. Uh, how do I get them to, like, tap down here? Oh, more geese! Alright, I need to just get... How do I get that Karavik back? Or, if I draw Massacre Worm right now, that'd be... That'd be a hoser. Uh, we gotta get... If we can find Massacre Worm, that'd be perfect. So I think we are now just all in on trying to find it. Um, or a Gary, I guess. Oh, Okay, sure. Oh, they're gonna take my Agadim's Awakening. Whatever. Whatever, that's fine. So they're at five. Uh, Massacre Worm would then allow me to go ahead and swing through, and I think I'd be okay. Or a Gary. Gary here closes out the game. I mean, they gotta attack at some point, right? Good news that I have something to chump block the, uh, the Bone Crusher for right now. Oh. Uh. Okay, so I take seven this turn. All right, so they ate up a goose. All right, that's that's pretty good for them. That's I mean, if I find if I my out is to find a massacre worm, them sacrificing these cards is actually pretty good for them. Oh boy, they're gonna draw a lot of cards this turn. So we either yeah, we gotta go now. Simple as that. Massacre worm or bust. Massacre Worm or Bust? I mean, they could draw a lot of cards, sure, but can they... Okay, so they have three bodies, right? And I have two creatures here. Well, they don't have Mayhem Devil, right? So that that's good. Do they want to draw more? Do they need to draw more? I don't think so. Um. Okay, my turn. Let's go digging. Do they have to... I mean, like... Do they have it next turn? They have eight... They could potentially add three... Four, five, six. Oh, perfect. There you go. That's what I wanted. Oh my god. Massacre Worm right off the top like we ordered. Yup. Resolves. We might be dead though, actually. Hold on. Let me see. How we, how do we go about this? We might be dead. Right. The Woe Strider is an out. Oh, I guess Woe Strider dies no matter what, so they lose two. Because they can't sacrifice Woe Strider. And I think they die here no matter what. Yeah, they die here no matter what. Because they lose one, they go to four. They lose two automatically from Woe Strider dying. They can have a very big core vault at the end of all of this, though. And then we just swing out with everybody. Massacre Worm, sometimes you just need a card. You will it into existence. You will it into existence. Alright. So that eats up the Woe Strider. Woe Strider dies. Then we swing out, and that's GG's! Uh, I can't keep this. We're on the draw. We do have removal, Ayara, Woe Strider. You know what? We draw one land. I think we're okay. Just gotta draw one land, right? I have to kill that. I have to kill that. I've gotta draw lands here. Another Speaker of the Heavens, and a Selfless Savior this time. Karavik is gonna be real good in this matchup if I find him. Karavik will be real good. All right, so what is my next line now? I can Luris. Great news. Um, I have to kill Luris, but I can't. How do I get around this? I mean, like, it, it, they seem to be pretty much now locked until I find my Kervik, right? Like, because all they have to do is just keep... They can sacrifice Selfless Savior whenever they want. Vanishing Light, also a good answer to me. Unfortunate. Uh, they're up four. That's not useful. So this upcoming turn, they're going to be able to gain a decent amount of life. Yeah, you got it. All right, Kervik and land is what I need. So land first, or either order, just I need it now. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, boy. Kervik is so good here. Please. Uh, land? No, that's not going to do it. Found my land. Oh, boy. Let's see what they've got in hand. I'm just gonna sacrifice this. Great, they get to play it anyways, it doesn't matter. At least this is like better sack fodder, the acquisitions expert. All they have to do is just give protection, swing through, and then that's four angel, or three angels. Oh, this is pretty good from the opponent's side of the board. Ah. Uh, yup, you got it. Uh, one, two, three. They already gained five life, so I'm not stopping this. They, they got it. They, they've got too much life gain here. Uh, now they're at 31. 
That looks like it's time for a bunch of angels. I'm dead. I'm dead. GG's. Ooh, nice deck. Uh, we've got a ton of tap lands, but I guess we'll try it. We have four lands. Uh-huh. I'm gonna play the Hagra Mauling. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I mean, maybe I just play these. I mean, I need to play this turn two. Turn three, we play the... Like, I mean, no. The only way we could sequence this to where I get to play Lily or Rankle on four, looking at the hand I've got now. I mean, I could also just hope I draw a Swamp, which shouldn't be as unlikely as it seems right now, but... All right, I'm gonna keep the removal spell. We have two forms of untapped lands, even if they cost me six life. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're up against rogues. Let's see what happens. Uh, if we can actually keep to merit, we can eat our graveyard. We can currently, like they play another creature, that like another rogue, that's four. Oh, they have a removal spell, that's not great. Oh. Okay. Drown in the lock. How many cards do I have in the yard? I have three. So this puts it at four. Uh, I kind of want to just go ahead and eat a drown in the lock. That seems more problematic. We can get around a, a, a Nighthawk. That's not that big a deal. All right, take one. All right. This battle is going to end on my So we got rid of the the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk's dealt with. It is entirely possible that I should have just gotten rid of the Thieves Guild Enforcer, but I mean, how am I supposed to get to a point where I can actually like resolve something? That's the question. Maybe we get lucky and they play Zareth. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take it. Perfect. I'll be Don't have a land, don't have a land, don't have a land, don't have a land, don't have a land. Don't have a land. Day, my um, all right, I'm gonna just go ahead and play the Agadim's Awakening. I need the instant speed removal. Okay, so what do I do here? I can hold back a card. They're gonna counter me no matter what I do. They have the mana to drown in the lock. So I think I gotta get them to bite with that drown in the lock. And the only way I can do that is probably by playing something like Kervik. All right, sure, it's a 3-2. Never mind, Kervik doesn't matter anymore. Um, let me think here. What can I do to get out of this spot? I can get him to spend mana on their turn, then swing with Rankle. Uh, can we get him to discard a card? I mean, what, what, this other card in their hand would have to be purely amazing if they throw away Drown in the Lock. Um, okay, so they drew, they threw away the Agadim's Awakening, right? That's, that's okay. Um, what's my next line here? I can go ahead and... I want to get rid of this Thieves Guild Enforcer pretty bad. All right, I'm going to play Kervik. This should eat a counter spell. Or at least get him to use that Drowned in the Lock. So then they punch my Lily. Then we try to kill the Thieves Guild Enforcer. I'm a survivor. All right. That's two Drowned in the Locks down. Rankle? We can pay the one if they have the uh, whatever spell, the Lofty Denial. Drowned in the Lock, the sequel. All right. That's the trilogy. So they have one left. Oh boy. I don't even think we have enough here, right? Like that's not enough. We can't kill, like I can't kill this enough. Puts me down to 11 cards. Yeah, I gotta kill this now. I gotta kill this now. That Thieves Guild Enforcer is quite annoying. I think I wanna save the Agadim's Awakening. I need to save it because then I can potentially reanimate tons of targets, right? I have two, three, and a four. And a six, but of course that requires me to have nine mana. Right now we're at five, so we're four lands away from that. Oh boy. I mean, at least giving me one land wouldn't be bad, right? Because if I get one land, I can bring back at least my uh, my Temerit and start eating up the graveyard. I might just bring back Temerit anyways. Oh, there goes the land. Oh. Actually, no, that's pointless. I'm going to play a blocker. Uh... Do they have something? Alright, they sacked both of those. Do they- if they find an Agadim's Awakening, that's gonna be bad news bears for me, but... I'm gonna actually hang back here. I don't wanna draw them cards. I wanna sit back and, like, block in case they have a Rankle or something to do. If they have a Flash Threat, I wanna get rid of it. Oh, that's it. I think they just got themselves back in the game. Now I have to draw cards, because it doesn't matter. I have to draw my cards. 
Remember, that's only one Thieves Guild Enforcer, so they still have three more in their deck somewhere. Yep, seems good. Yeah, it's it's not gonna happen. I I've gotta I've gotta start digging. I gotta make sure that I get rid of everything that they could potentially bring back. You only think you won. With Zareth. Oh, uh, can we scry away like well, they're at twenty and we're at ten, so we're nowhere near uh like killing them. Scavenger, I guess, that's a problem. Soaring Thought Thief, that's even worse. Probably have like a brazen borrower or something like that. Alright. Let's go ahead and go digging. Uh, that's not gonna save us. Oh, this is kind of rough. How do I get out of this? So I, I need to kill that Soaring Thought Thief. If I don't, I'm in trouble. Like, they're not going to block my Woe Strider. They don't care about it. They want this to die or stay on board. And even then, if it does die, it doesn't do enough. You just bounce it. I mean, do you have like a Brazen Borrower? You should bounce it, I guess. All right, you got it. And let's go ahead and just... Play this tapped. I have to kill the the big old Nighthawk scavenger. They're gonna mill me. Hopefully they hit my other Woe Strider or something like that. Alright, more lands. I think this is how we play now. We're just gonna go ahead and play both Vito. Right? Both Vito and So that's six. So that means if they draw another Lord effect, we're dead, but like. Yep. Ooh. That exponentially low, like slows down their clock, right? That's instead of a two-turn clock. Or, I mean, yeah, we, we would have... Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so painful. All right. Yep, there goes all my removal. So now I've got to find an answer to this card again found one these are both two turn clocks oh my gosh peer action off the top we're dead yeah like i i mean we're we're very dead if if it's not a threat or a thing that closes out the game it's a counter spell Nope, that's not enough. I mean, I'll, I'll play it out. Sure, why not? Uh, yep, there it is. Lofty Denial. GG's. I will keep. Essentially, this is not in our hand. But we do have a sweet 2 and 3 curve. Let's see what they're doing. Probably, okay. So it's some kind of mono green deck. Not great for us. Uh, what do I want to play? I think I want to play Temerit. Temerit seems nice. Alright, Timmy. Take us there. Alright. I will go ahead and go to combat. At this point, I'm just going to go straight for them. Please don't have anything that, like... Oh, a Scoot Swarm? Uh-oh. Better kill that quick. Never mind, just kidding, I can't. Uh, I'm A-OK -okay with them double blocking my, my Ayara. Uh, I need land and Karavik. Whenever enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter. Alright. Sure. I can't actually even kill the Scoot Swarm, so I gotta move that to the bottom. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do here? I think I attack. I mean, they, I only get to discard one thing, right? Next turn is Clackbridge Troll Area. Sure, we discard the six drop. Why not? I'm sure they don't mind that. Let's wither their board down, right? Um, yep, pass. Uh, Beanstalk Giant. So now they get a... Another copy of Scoot Mob. This is not going to end well for me. Alright. I need a Gary. Not useful. Alright. Um. Oh, boy. 
Okay, I found a Gary. Can I survive? Um, two, four, let's go ahead and attack here. Let's attack with the Temerit. Attacking with the Temerit, this way I can go ahead and sacrifice it, draw a card after, and then just play the second Temerit. Although I'm not sure, is it better to sacrifice it or just scry? Like, do I want to draw or do I want to scry? All right. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, so now what do I want to do here? I can block Garrick's Harbinger, take the rest of the damage. I think we win here, right? Three, five. Yeah, we win here if they don't gain life. They can make as many scoot mobs as they'd like right now, but like we win if they don't gain life. All right, so that's four more scoot mobs. So that's, that's our devotion here. Three, four, six, eight, exactly eight. Like I just take all the damage, right? The only thing I'm gonna block is like the Garrick's Harbinger. Alright, they swing out, that's fine. Uh, sure. Block there. Alright, and we got it! Uh, I like this. We have a nice 2-3 curve, and we have some removal along the way, so this is good. And having, that's actually like a lot of devotion right there. Timmy, Ayara... And then, yeah, just, like, go into Gary. We already got one Gary W. Uh, that's gotta go. That's gotta go. And I think this is, like, gonna have Luris, right? Not in the, as the minion, but in the deck somewhere. What is the opponent playing? I think I want to go ahead and just kill this now. Before it becomes a problem. I will try to kill it, at least. Maybe they have Karametra's Blessing or something like that. Oh, please let me keep Karavik. Let me draw the land. Let me... Oh, I know. I need to have the land. I should have probably just gone ahead and played this first. Because this land... Oh, my God. Karavik is so good if they're just a bunch of X1s. Now, Ayara keeps their health total padded, right? Like, keeps it down so that they don't go too wild. Uh, so if they have any other Speaker of the Heavens, they don't get to do too much. We played this earlier. We played against this earlier. So there's somebody... Somebody's going around playing a good chunk of mono white decks. Let's see what they've got in hand. I don't believe they've just got nothing. Okay, all right. I see, I see. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Banishing Light. That actually does something against us, so no thank you. I mean, all that glitters kills us, but and Karametra's Blessing protects it, but next turn, if they don't draw anything right here, right now, we're okay. Like, we just play Karavik, and it should eat up about most of their deck. All right, we'll attack first. I mean, maybe they get, they're get they nice and they want to pump with Karametra's Blessing. I could also just eat up their graveyard. I think I will, actually. No, if they draw a one drop or something like that, I, I could really lose the game. So I'm going to just go ahead and play Karavik. Because, like, then it just shuts off, like, any one drop they could draw, making it a little more difficult for them to just find something to equip to. Heliod, that's a good one. All right, perfect. So now we play Lily. Let's eat up the yard. I'll go ahead and pitch and a, an Ayara. Alright, there goes all that glitters. So they've got to have enough devotion here to animate this Heliod all in one go. But Lily's j Nice! And we get there! Uh, I'm on the draw. I'll, I'll, let's just hope I hit a land. That's dying right now. Like, there's no way that card stays alive ever. And we're going to go ahead and play Timmy. Um, okay, so we have the third mana, we play Vito, then we play Karavik, and, like, if we just draw lands from here on out, we have a very good curve. Ah. Oh. Dang it. That was so close. If we just had waited one more turn, that could have survived a stomp. Ah, eh, whatever, that's fine. All right, so we're stuck on lands. Guess we may as well start chipping in on some damage. My issue is that if I let them keep this, they, they could get the Great Henge next turn. So we're going to take four for this, unfortunately. I, I can't let them have that giant. Giant does too much work. Because then Great Henge is five mana. Gem Razor, sure. All right, so we deal them three. 
All right, that's pretty sweet. The clack bridge veto burn. If they ember cleave, they ember cleave. I can't stop that. I'm not blocking. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so how do I get out of this now, right? Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. So if I Gary, how much is Devotion at? That's 3-5. If I Kervik, that means that that's automatically, what? One, two, three, getting through. I gotta block this this turn or I die. Five puts them down to, I gain five. They lose 10. Yeah, they're, they're dead if, okay, yeah, they're dead. I just Gary. All right, and now we go to combat. GG's. Boom, with the dunk. Uh, I'll try this, actually. We don't have that aggressive star, but we're kind of like a mid-range deck anyways. We don't have removal. That's my biggest concern. However, we have this on turn two. Oh, no, no, I can't cast it yet. As much as I'd love to cast it for free. Then we go into Woestrider, hopefully into what is a Liliana turn. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. We need removal. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, we got to rip the two drop, don't we? There's so many problematic cards here, but all right. That's probably the most problematic. We can make a 2-2 Snake. Or a 1-1 Wildwood Scourge. That also works. How do I get out of this? Oh, that's good! Okay, hold on. What can I kill with this? I think I want the body. I still want the body on board. None of these trample, right? So we can kind of still chump block them for a little bit. And I don't mind trading, right? Like, I definitely don't mind trading, like, the Wildwood Surge or whatever for this Woe Strider. I'm a-okay with that. And I'm even more okay with it if they swing with Shambler, so... Oh, right, this is how they can do it. They play another Snake. Uh, can we find more removal? Another land. That's a 1-1. One, one. I think I gotta find removal. We gotta find removal. Uh... I think I like this. We go removal. Killing... We'll kill the one drop. This does not trample yet, so that's fine. Sure. At some point, I believe I can find another removal spell to get rid of Wildwood Scourge, right? Because that thing would eventually just keep generating an army, which is a problem. And I don't mind double blocking here either. Oh, no. Well, luckily we have two cards in the yard. Yup. I guess I have to... Oh, boy. This is a little problematic, yeah. Sure. Oh my gosh, yes. Alright, we got rid of that. That's perfect. Okay, so now we can still just chump block, right? Mentor. Uh-oh. I have to kill that too, don't I? Please don't have anything else that grows. Uh, yeah, I'll gladly block. Before you find the Ozolith. Good 2-1-1 one, one counters on it. That makes it a 5-5. Five, five. I need to find something to do to kill that and that. Oh, man, that's so bad for us. I don't think we can win now. Ooh, that's actually helpful. All right, I, I'm going to just go with Lily. Uh, uh, uh. Address me as Four cards in the yard. I can chump block. That's three, putting me down to two. Oh. Yeah, that, that's it. That's over. Dang it, man. That sucks. So close, and then the great... I, I think I think we could have turned the corner there. I just got unlucky. We didn't draw enough removal early. I kept a hand that was pretty greedy, actually, so it's not unlucky. It's entirely my fault. Um, Do I have an out here? Sure. Uh, the out is not that. GG's. GG's. Yeah, they got there. We just did not have enough removal. And we ended up going 4-3 and three with the deck, unfortunately. We got dunked on there at the end. I think the deck lacks a little bit removal uh, and a little bit too much of the mid-range package there. So uh, we did get the win with Clackbridge Troll like how we wanted. But I, I do think that maybe maybe there is something there. But like I think this deck definitely needs a sideboard, as most mid-range decks do. Uh, but the deck was sweet. Uh, maybe maybe we can go ahead and add more vetoes and whatnot too, but like for right now I think the deck just needs a little bit more removal Maybe drop the agonizing remorses in them when it comes to at least best of one But when it comes to best of three Maybe we can get a little greedier as you know We have a sideboard to switch things around but in best of one gotta have removal gotta respect the aggro decks But 
you know, that was still pretty fun. And maybe that like, I don't know, you, some of you out there have already brewed a mono black devotion deck. So we'd love to see how you built yours. Either way, thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. And as always, I do appreciate you coming back and supporting the content. Feel free to leave a like, a sub, and hit the bell icon just to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.